Welcome to this fifth video of the Monarch training. We will see how to apply the third step in the Monarch analysis. If you haven't seen it or missed it, we highly suggest that you check out our last video on the second step of Monarch and the creation of some assets and analyze their impacts. With that out of the way, we can now begin. The first sub-step is the estimation, evaluation and risk treatment. In order to do this step, we need to be on the Monarch main page. To get there, you can either click on the sub-step in the method or you can just click on your risk analysis. And the first step that we will do is to estimate our probability of the threat to happen. As you can see, there are some dash at the probability. You just need to click in the cell and you can edit the probability of the threat. The probability is minus one. That means it is not defined yet. You need to enter the probability depending on your scale. If you don't remember what your scale is, you can over your mouse on the probability to make a help pop-up appear. Also, if you are not sure about the threat, you can over your mouse on the threat to have a small description of the threat. Once you have chosen a probability, if you don't remember what the numbers means, you can also over your mouse on the number to have the description of this step of the scale. This is the first method to assess the threat of probability, but it is definitely not the best. Probability often stand to be the same for a same threat. So it would be better to set the probability by threat and not by risk. In order to do that, you can click on the first step in the Monarch method and go to the evaluation of trends and threats and synthesis. From here, click on the second tab, the threat assessment. You may have spotted a new field in that window, the probability. As we have chosen our scale, now we can go through each threat and define probability. You should help yourself from the comments written in the first step. You now have to click on the probability to choose the right scale. You can also click on the checkbox Force Probability in the Analysis. If you do that, you will replace all your previous probability manually entered, such as the number we put earlier. In our case, let's go to the Forging of Right Threat and let's put a probability of 3 without forcing it. Do not forget to save before quitting to keep your modifications. As you can see, all the probability is filled for the forging of rights. Of course, it should now be made for all the threat to continue the risk analysis. Now, the idea would be to finish the definition of the risks. In order to do that, we need to define first what are the existing controls that are currently in place. In this first example, we can ask ourselves the following question. Is my authorization management flowed 
on my administrator workstations. If you want more details on the vulnerability, you can put your mouse over the label to have more details. You need then to describe the current situation into the existing controls by clicking in the cell. Once you have finished writing your text, you can either click outside of the cell or press Ctrl or Command plus Enter. You need then to choose the number that your existing control represents on your scale. If you don't remember your scale, you can put your mouse over the qualification cell to have more details. As soon as you have put the number, the risk should be calculated if you have made all the necessary steps. If it does not calculate, then either you have missed a step or you need to reload the page. And of course, you should do this step with all the risk in your analysis. We now have estimated and evaluated all risks. We need to treat them. In order to do it, in the colon treatment, you have to click on the not treated to enter into the risk treatment. You will find a good summary of all the data we have already put on our risk. You can indeed see the current risk, the residual risks, the asset, the threat and its probability, the vulnerability and the qualification and the existing control. And we have to fill here the risk owner, the risk context, the recommendation, the kind of treatment and the vulnerability reduction, if any. You can also have the information on the interesting chapter to read on some security referential that were selected at the creation of the analysis. Not that you can add a referential through the knowledge base, but that will be explained into another video. So here, let's add a risk owner. You can also add a context for the risk to explain if something already happens, for instance. We then have to choose the kind of treatment that we will apply. We have the choices between reduce, deny, accept or share the risk. Reduce the risk means that we want to apply a recommendation to modify the risk. Deny the risk means that we want to delete the asset that bring the risk itself. Accept the risk means that we do not want to change anything on it and we accept it as it is. Share the risks means that we want to share the responsibility with another company, for instance by outsourcing the asset. Of course, those descriptions are not accurate and are mainly a way for you to easily understand what each of the treatment does. For this risk, we will select a reduction. As we have chosen to reduce the risk, we need to define the recommendations we will implement. To add a recommendation, you have to click on the blue plus button in the recommendation cell. A new window should appear with all the details that you have to fill. You can choose a previous recommendation to base yours on that one, but we don't have any since this is the first one we create. The first thing to understand is that each recommendation has to be in a recommendation set. But as there is no recommendation set, we need to create one. To do that, you have to type a name of the recommendation set in the field and click on the blue plus button that has appeared on the right of the field. You should see a green confirmation message that your recommendation set creation was successful. Now you have to add a code for your recommendation. 
the code would be an identifier for your recommendation. We do advise you to put a theme of your recommendation followed by a number. For instance here, we will put password 001. Then, you should choose the importance of your recommendation. You have three different importance, and that cannot be changed. The importance will be useful mainly for the sort of the recommendation, but also to notify the priority needed for their implementation. And finally, you need to put a description to specify a bit more about what should be done to follow the recommendation. You then have to save your progress by clicking the yellow Create button. Of course, as recommendations are like small tasks, it is sometimes important to have more than one on a risk. In our case, let's add another one. So we will click on the blue plus button again. We will also base our recommendation on the last one. And as you can see, all details from our last recommendation are now in the different fields. But we need to add the recommendation set where you want the recommendation in. We will here change the code and the description, including the priority. And now we have two recommendations. Then you have to choose the vulnerability reduction. The question is, what will be your new vulnerability after all recommendations are implemented? Click the drop-down list to choose the new vulnerability you want to have. And you can either click on the yellow back to the list or next button to save your progress. Note that you can indeed fill all the risk of a chosen asset by clicking on the next without getting back to the main view. You need, of course, to fill out all the recommendations for every risk you have. Let's see some specific case now. The first thing to know is that you can reuse a recommendation to multiple risks. In order to do that, you need to type a part of your recommendation in the search recommendation field. This is one of the main reasons that we tend to have an understandable code. By typing, it will show all the recommendations that correspond to what you have typed. To attach it, click on it and then click on the chain icon to link the recommendation to the risk. For the risks that are green, you will probably accept them, as you know they shouldn't be worth the effort to reduce them. In order to do that, you just need to put accepted in the kind of treatment. Monarch allows you to add a recommendation, as it can also be some advice that you can give on the risk. Just so you know, the deny or share work exactly as the reduction itself. You will need to choose the vulnerability reduction and the recommendations you have to apply. As a final note concerning the recommendations, note that you can go to the knowledge base to add a recommendation set. We have some recommendation sets that are already in MOSP and you can download them to have already some pre-made recommendations.
they could be used as base for yours. Do not forget to tick the checkbox once finish this step, so you can confirm Monarch that you have all the recommendations needed. If you click on the last sub-step, the Restreetment Plan Management, you will have a new window that should appear. The objective of this is to sort the different recommendations to define the different priorities. The default order is defined mainly by the importance. To change this order, you can drag and drop the recommendations with the position icon. You can also reset the position by default by clicking the Reset Position button. You can also export the ordered list of restreetment in the CSV format. As it is now done, do not forget to check the tick box to validate your progress in Monarch. Last but not least, you can now download the deliverable about the final report to confirm with your management the action plan you have put in place. As you already done it on the last step, you need to fill some information for the report. Note that this time, you have to fill out a summary of the risk evaluation you just did. Once it is done, just click the yellow save button to download your report. You will download the report in the .docx format. This report will be a complete summary of all the different steps done until now. And that's it for this video. The next video should be around the last step in the Monarch method, about the management of the implementation of the risk treatment plan. I wish you a nice day, and I will see you on the next video.